This is the future. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and look at this graphics. I got this new um, resource pack which makes everything look a bit more real if I can put it to you like that. Um, you can actually see moss on the stones now, the dirt looks like dirt, the grass looks like grass. I absolutely love this resource pack. Unfortunately this is just a 32-bit resource pack. Um, you do get 64, 128, but then you have to pay the person on Patreon and I really don't have that kind of money. So we'll be happy with a 32-bit. As you guys have seen, there's a lot of changes made in the last two weeks. There's suddenly railway systems and walking paths in, in the forest and how I came to that idea was thanks to games like Skyrim where I decided I need a way to get from point A to point B and um, I wasn't gonna fly all the way so I wanted to make like a forest road where you can walk if you want to take a walk or if it's too far you can actually take the train so I built this minecart railway system and it works perfectly. My son likes it so much, he's ju he just likes to play on this level just so that he can ride up and down on the train. So in today's video, I'm going to take you for a tour in the underwater house. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. That is my next uh, or next build that I completed a few days ago. I was going to give you more footage on it but um, unfortunately something happened so I had to do this yesterday. So let's go for a ride. Let me show you the underwater house. direction and I found places that were interesting for my boats and on those locations I placed beacons so I could find my way and this was a very deep on the lake so welcome to the underwater house this was a freaky idea I had was to make this train go into the under the water this is the front door welcome welcome let me show you around. I think I might first go take a nap just to get the daylight coming because everything's a bit dark and then we'll start the tour. So let me just quickly go to the bedroom, take a quick nap and I'll see you in one second. And welcome back. This is morning time and we just woke up and look at the new textures. It actually looks like somebody slept in the bed. So uh, let's start from the beginning, I don't want to spoil the whole thing for you. Uh, la 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 da, let's go to the main entrance of the house, yes. All my roof is glass, so that you can see the fish and whatever swimming. Look at my kitchen, we have some nice food, we've got berries and all kinds of stuff there. Um, okay, it seems like we're going back out. Okay, this is the train station then, where you come in from the train. and. You can also walk up the steps to my right, uh, left hand side and that will take you out. Then we've got our nice cake, 
kitchen area, ovens, a basin with a tap, and some plates with food. Got some steak, bread, and so on. And then we've got our nice couch and a nice big flat screen TV, suppose it, and a little fireplace just to heat up the place. Going this way, we have our study. I guess most of my builds will have the same elements study, bedroom, workplace, and so on. Look at the coral. Now, at least the coral looks like coral. Um, the graphics was a bit different before I put this texture pack in. Going down this hallway, we get to the first bedroom. And uh, I gave everyone a little bit of a study place where they can sit and study. Second bedroom. Uh, oops, bathroom with a shower. So there we have a little mirror, the counter, and a shower. I put in a shower and a towel that you can dry off. Back to my master bedroom. I've got uh, the bed, the cabinet, and then our bathroom with a uh, window, <laughs> a bathtub, and also a towel. Going down this way, we're going to our little workshop where we can build, craft, repair, enhance, enchant, whatever we need to do, we can do it here. And lastly, my Ooladida showpiece. This is the first showpiece that I made, it's like my sculpture. I decided to make something that's a little bit of outside and bring it inside. The sculpture was different, I had an undersea sculpture with a tank in the middle, but the glass didn't work nicely, the reflection didn't work nicely, you couldn't see the whole thing. So I destroyed the whole tank and I changed it out for a, a nature sculpture that has to do with, um, well, leaves and trees and flowers instead of kelp and coral. So that was the difference. I, I could have shown you what it looked like, but I deleted the videos. Like a stupid, but anyway. So that was my 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 little sculpture. Let me take you outside, and I'll show you guys what the house looks like from outside. Got the steps. Here's my beacon. My turtles. I actually had turtles, dolphins, and everything. The dolphins jumped over the wall and disappeared. And uh, but I still have lots of fish. So this is where the sculpture is, this is what it looks like from above. I do have foxes that are swimming around trying to eat my fish. I'm going to have to lift my walls. Uh, look at the squids. On this texture pack, even the squids look more like squids, not square blocks. The flowers look better. I caught the foxes, I took them out and they keep on coming back. Look at how the underwater looks like with the rays coming in. This looks very nice. I built a little bit of a different roof design this time um, on the house. And uh, I just think it's it's something unique. It, it actually looks nice. I didn't have to put the white stone on top, but it gives it a, a basic an outline of the whole house and uh, just gives it some definition. Because I used black stone to do the, the roof itself, I just wanted to give it a bit more of a definition. We've got this whole area underwater where well, I actually planted all this coral. There was nothing here. I planted the coral and planted some of the other stuff. But this is a sky shot of what the whole house looks like. It's a nice big massive house, big open space. So let's take a walk back to the main house and then uh, you guys... Oh, that was a little bedroom that I made that I slept in while I was busy building the underwater house. Because I didn't want to go back to the main house every time it got dark. And you cannot always work at, the, at, at night time. So this is the, the foot bath that I made. 
So uh, yeah, let's take a walk back to the main house. This uh, textures, especially when it comes to the ground, where you see the mud and the the leaves and stuff, reminds me a lot of Bad Company, uh, Battlefront Number Two, Bad Company. They had almost similar type of graphics in those games. In that game, sorry. You will notice that I've placed signboards everywhere just so that I can give you some idea of where you are and where you are heading. Um, so let me take you now, uh, even with this texture map, the, the bees look like bees, they're not these little square bugs. There's been a definite upgrade on the, the animals. Chickens kind of look like chickens now, not squares. Um, that's one reason I love this texture pack. Um, like I said, I really would have liked to have a 64-bit, uh, which will make it even more crispier and make the pixels a bit more tighter, make it look more smoother. But unfortunately, I don't have that money. I cannot pay a dollar every month because <laughs> I just don't have it. Um, so let me take you to the new build, the new building site. Um, I built this railway system and bridge uh, yesterday and the day before. It takes time, guys. Building this bridge and the road takes about a um, couple of hours every day. So let's take a ride to the new build site. So here we are at the new build site, um, let me show you quickly what my plans are for this place. Um, it just looked so unique when I found this place that I was imagining myself having a small village of which all the houses are in the mountainside. I want to build a, a little house to the left, one to the right, one in front, maybe put some cobblestones down, put some banners, you know, make it like a little marketplace. Not gonna go far, just up to here. Just put a few houses and stuff in here just to make it look a little bit more like a, a village type place. And then from here, I will build the next station that will take you to the next point. So yeah guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this textures that I'm using now. It really looks very, very good. Um, I will show you guys what the place looks like when it's done. If you want to see me building and see the, the building process, then leave a comment and tell me what you guys would like. Or if you are happy by just looking at the completed um, places. Uh, yeah, let's take a walk back to the main house. And then 
on the way back I'm gonna tell you to remember to subscribe to this channel also remember to hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of my next upload uh, as you guys can see there's the next build site after this one so it's not very far um, yeah give a like if you like this video and don't be scared to comment guys I read all the comments and um, I will try and, and keep everyone happy if I can <laughs> so until next time guys whatever you do keep it safe Cheers.